Hey, how are you? I'm feeling kind of cozy tonight. Good old winter. My favorite thing is fuzzy, fuzzy jackets, right? Well, so question for you. In what areas of your life have you had some suffering lately? There's a lot going on in this world. <laughs> no joke, right? Where have you had some suffering? Can you think of what has caused the pain? Is there any chance that the pain that you still hold on to is partly your responsibility? <sighs> Deep breath, right? I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and today we are talking about how taking ownership um, can really help you with this. So our title is healing also means taking an honest role that you play in your own suffering. I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and here is what we're going to talk about today. How does that ownership actually help you heal? Well, it helps you acknowledge areas where you need the growth, you need the healing. It helps you mature or identify maybe, a, you know, like role responsibility changes as you aged or developed. You aren't who you were in high school. You aren't who you were when you were seven. So how can you grow into who you are today? And taking ownership also empowers you. It puts you in the driver's seat. Sounds better than riding along with some people I know, right? So here's a quote for you. Your wound is not your fault, but your healing is your responsibility. Unknown. And healing takes courage. And we all have courage. Even if we have to dig a little to find it. Tori Amos. So questions to ask yourself, what sticks out in your mind when you think of the suffering you've had? Have you acknowledged that in some cases you may pl play a role in that? Okay, we're going to take a pause right here. Listen to me when I say this. If in your life you have been a victim of an abuse in any shape or form, especially in your youth, in your childhood, that is not your fault. And that's what victims do. We say, it's my fault. I probably said this. I probably did this. I probably acted this way. And that's why they treated me this way. No, that is not it. They were toxic. They were unhealthy humans that chose not to heal. And then they took their poisonous victim beliefs and attitudes and they just poisoned you. That is not your fault. So I am not talking about any of those circumstances. Okay? We're talking about as you're a full-grown human and you're repeating cycles, okay? And you're not noticing them and then they keep happening again instead of you growing out of them. That's what we're talking about. So I'm going to help you here with three ways to heal. Uh, through more ownership, I want to call it, and responsibility. So just an example. If you are just getting out of your third controlling, manipulative, jealous relationship, what have you not healed that you keep attracting that same situation? Okay, so here's the three. Number one, you need some self-reflection. You got to notice the patterns. X plus Y equals Z, right? What's happened here and then there that equals the same scenario, okay? This person might have a different name every time, but they're the same toxic human. Number two, you got to make a choice to heal. Choose you. Choose your happiness. 
Choose your growth. Choose an abundant life. And then number three, get some help and support. If you're running some toxic cycle, there is no way that you are supposed to be carrying that burden yourself. You got to reach out to some people you trust and that you appreciate and you love and and that you know are going to help you. And if all those people can't, go hire somebody. Go to a support group. Make sure you surround yourself with people who can help you heal. So circling around, healing also means taking an honest role in uh, the, you, what you play in your own suffering. So how can you take more ownership and actually break those cycles so that you can move forward into the life you actually deserve? Oh, thanks so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate you. And thanks for growing with me at Growing Sage and Growing Sage Journey. And if you want to know more about me or what I do, it's growingsagejourney.com. And on YouTube, you can check out any video that resonates with you at Sage Robinson Miller, um, Growing Sage. So thanks. Keep on rocking. I love you.